What's up, YouTube Nation? We're back, and we are back from the national championship. And no, we didn't do well. It was a it was a struggle, no doubt about it. But we're back, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Check out Sickness, guys. Sickness is absolutely smoking clean right now. This thing has been washed up and down, sideways. It is a clean boat. But I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Cornfield Fishing Gear actually sent me one of the very first switchbacks that they had. And this is a transducer holder right here, available now at Cornfield Fishing Gear. I'll put their number out there. We're giving that a try today. This is the first time we're using it. It's stout, it's aluminum. It allows you to switch from perspective mode to forward view. Um, I can tell you right now, it is absolutely as sturdy, just like everything else Cornfield Fishing Gear does. Um, thing is absolutely sturdy rock solid so i'm looking forward i'll give you some feedback on it but we're going out there we're going to cast haven't been on the water in about let's just say about a week and a half so yeah we didn't do too hot at the crappie masters national championship i gotta tell you a it rained like crazy um but at the end of the day, it was a it was a tough bite, and uh, we gave it 110. We had fun doing it. It rained the entire time, and uh, it was miserable. But my hats off to all those guys that got her done because I tell you, it just was not an easy bite, a very spooky bite, and the weights were were low, reflecting the the size of fish that everybody was fi uh, catching. Big fish for us was a 1.3 to a 1.5. Um, but anyway, still love. Darbone, fantastic fishery. We saw a ton of massive fish. Couldn't get them to bite though. But we're back and I'm excited. And now I gotta prep for guide trips because there's a slew of them coming up here in the fall. The fall time on my lake is an incredible time uh, as it is on all of these lakes. So if you're interested in a guide trip, reach out and I'll hook you up because we are definitely gonna put a lot of fish in the boat this fall and I'm looking forward to today's a brisk beautiful day man 75 degrees um, just does not get much better than this uh, and we're going to be testing out the evening bite because a lot of those guy trips will be occurring in the second part of the day so let's do this That didn't take long. Good fish there, guys. Woohoo, baby, good start. All right, beautiful fish right there, guys. Great start to the episode. Just casting out there about 30 feet with a number seven split shot. We're starting it off with some plastics, but we are definitely gonna be trying some hair jigs and seeing if they're alive too. Another good fish. Mm mm mm. Gosh dang. So it's nice. These fish are absolutely more active than they have been in, in a while. Water temperature is sitting right there at 80 degrees. That is truly a 13 to 15 degree change. Uh, and it's happened drastically. I was I woke up this morning and I could see the lake breathing. And so a completely different ball game. Now I am using the asteroid. I've got the asteroid and the comet. Those are my go-to braids now from Sniping Braid. I love it because of their diameter. It's super small, but it's an eight strand, so it's super strong. It's got that new fiber technology. It absolutely keeps the color so much longer across the board comparing it to any braid color wise this black braid is just awesome it, it, it literally has not been it's been on my reel forever and it still is absolutely beautifully black wow he just took that sucker 
and right now we're just casting at them, staying back. We're kind of in the middle of the day at 3 not at 3:30. Uh, we still haven't hit the the evening bite yet, really. But look at this, already got one. Gosh dang, that is just awesome. There we go. Fish going in the boat, folks. Boom. Wow. Again, we have not been out here long, guys. Mm, gosh, dang, that's awesome. All right, guys, I wanted to give kind of a midday, kind of, a, I wanted to give you guys a review of the, the switchback. I really like it. Heavy duty, definitely stays away from the, the barrel of the, of the trolley motor. Allows you to switch it from perspective mode to forward view and i gotta tell you it's just built strong and light the aluminum that they use is i don't know if it's a special grade or anything like that but super light super strong you can definitely feel the the solidness of it and just like everything else from cornfield fishing gear it's top notch with customer service so check that out on their website i believe it's called the switchback and um, i think you're going to really like it if you're looking for a sturdy way of a you know being able to mount your transducer from live scope I gave it the thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna move, and we're gonna move around this lake a lot in the next couple episodes, just because I want to see where these fish are and, and how aggressive they are on each pile, etc. But I am fishing with the hammer, guys. That's the number one ten footer out there, professional grade. I'm, I'm happy to say that Cooters down in Louisiana has the full lineup now. PTG in Northport, Alabama, and PTG in Grenada has a full lineup of three pound fishing rods. Every single one, the Hammer, the Savage, you name it. Those guys all are loaded up. Uh, locally here, we've got Just Add Water has every single three pound fishing rod, um, and that's gonna continue to grow. Very excited about that. Again, I'm using a combination of the Asteroid and the Comet. That's a great 10 pound braid. You guys check that out on my website, or you can go to snipingbraid.com. And uh, we're just out here enjoying a beautiful, what feels like a fall day. And I guess maybe technically it is since we're past Labor Day. But uh, maybe this is what we'll call the episode, the transition from summer to fall. And these water temperatures drop. And I'm telling you, these fish just get active and they get active fast. All right, guys, we're switching it up to a hair jig. This is the, uh, the bluegrass hair jig. Mixing it up, seeing if it will... Oh. I can already tell you, I already caught one on it, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get another one on it. I love hair jigs. If you know me, I like efficiency. If I don't have to mess with the plastic or minnows or any of that stuff. Little guy, but on the bluegrass right there, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we keep moving. Hey, I wanted to remind you guys that these new reels all are, are available. They are come, flying off the shelves, man. We got an all black matte one right here. We've got the red and black right here. Both have the three pound fishing logo there underneath the reel. Um, beautiful 1000 series reels. Um, just absolutely stunners, man. They match up with everything so perfectly. Um, and this this all black one, they're carbon fiber. Uh, just beautiful reels, guys. Check them out at three pound fishing. For you guys that aren't familiar with the setup, this is a 16 inch 8600 series uh, monitor. I get all of my electronics through uh, PTG down there in Grenada, Mississippi. Uh, cornfield fishing gear, you know, along with the switchback that we got to use today and that we're still using, we, don't, we are not gonna take that thing off. That thing's awesome. Um, I also use the uh, monitor mount right here, the folding one. I think it's great because you can fold it out of your way if you wanna put a boat cover on, all that great stuff. So, and then we've got always got bait pop. We always got it in our little cup holder there. 
just in case we need it we got it all those new colors are pretty awesome so just a great day on the water man you gotta love this transition from summer to fall all right there you go guys nice little pile keeping it always about 20 feet it's kind of the go-to i have noticed that there's a lot of bluegill on a lot of piles now i'm not quite sure what that's about but either way we've got a lot more active fish um which is a gosh it's just a joy this transition is just a fantastic time and fall time it just does not get any better here he comes oh this is the one he won got him wow that's the one we wanted that's the bigger one <laughs> right there great fish does not get much better than that man that is a beautiful fish now again like i said hammer 10 10 footer guys is incredible beautiful artmanship art artwork uh, you can get it at threepoundfishing.com um, we sold out of these and we're going to be going to the shows a lot of shows this coming winter collinsville knoxville alabama grizzly jig uh just to name a few of the ones we're going to be at and i can tell you right now most of these rods will sell out probably hammer 10 sold out so quick last year um, so take advantage get on the website and check out the rods now before those those shows come along there won't be sales on the website i can assure you of that and we do give you a somewhat of a good deal at the shows but either way i would take advantage of them now while we got them for sure um, again i'm using the asteroid this is the 200 series reel um, we've got the new reels out i haven't got them even on my rods yet but they're freaking fantastic all carbon fiber um, they are a step above without a doubt so anyway check out that stuff here and of course sun protection don't forget it guys that's why i got the wind rider on good solid eater right there take that all right guys awesome guys check out that switchback i think that switchback is going to be hot man i love it solid good construction good christmas idea gifts um so consider that and i appreciate you guys watching and please share took, took us a couple throws on this pile here but i know they're active when you're on them they're active Take it easy, guys. Appreciate it. Please share the video. Do me a favor. Thanks. Bye.